in for yeah, uh, for know, both yeah. yeah so very nice so you talked about konark and uh, jagannath temple in in uh, say odisha so this this terminology i came across which is uh, spiritual tourism uh, you know what is spiritual yeah. tourism so uh, again spiritual tourism i would say it's a very vast thing okay, okay. um when we are talking about spirituality and religion they are two different things yeah. okay so the religion aspect is uh, people traveling to all the religious places in india okay. let's say like jagannath dham we can say somnath dwarka uh, uh, badrinath oh, kedarnath Badrinath and all these places <laughs> so there is a a section of tourists mm-hmm. who uh, travel for this purpose only mm-hmm. then when you talk about spirituality uh this is quite popular now in india a lot of clients uh, like from europe they are under immense stress okay and uh, they have a lot of problems in life so they choose destinations in india like uh, rishikesh haridwar south india uh, where there are um, you know uh, centers where uh, they teach yoga and meditation Okay. So uh, slowly that is coming up in uh, various places in India and uh, these uh, centers they promote a kind of tourism where you know people can come to India stay in their uh, resort or uh, uh, that place and there is a spiritual leader who okay. teaches yoga and uh, meditation so they stay for about 7 to 14 days and uh, you know they are able to overcome their stress and other problems in life so this is quite popular now uh, in europe so that is gaining a bigger market yes. share in tourism yes, industry yes, spiritual yes. tourism yes it is so slowly i have seen this uh, new trend uh, also here in bhubaneswar uh, there are some um, centers Uh, where you know healing centers they yeah, are called yeah. as healing centers is some naturotherapy or yes, something like so that so these kind of centers are slowly coming up for the, these kind of needs oh, interesting and our agency of course we would like to you know take this moment as something uh, interesting so if there are people uh, asking us about, about these things so we try to find out these uh, places, places. Yeah. and then we have a collaboration with these places that we will be uh, sending this, uh, these tourists and you, we can work out the rates together and we can have a commission or something like that how do you find out uh, the um, uh, the demand of course like you uh, you have said that you visited europe you are traveling all yeah. across uh, india but how do you see that this is in demand or you know people the, the the focus is shifting from you know just the scenery to the spiritual tourism or you know just the uh, forts to the spiritual tourism whatever yeah so first is uh, see we have to uh, like uh, an agency for us we have to first identify our own product product knowledge is very important like for me for an agency like me if if i try to sell only puri konark and bhubneshwar to mm-hmm. our clients we will not survive mm-hmm. it's not possible mm-hmm. so uh, like uh, what our agency has done we have tried to identify what are the products here in orissa or in, in india and uh, how we can sell it to our clients in europe so let's say i'll give you an example uh, i have a client from germany he says uh, i visited india seven times almost now what new can you give to me so in situations like this i uh, try to involve them in a festival a, a local festival okay. so uh, like i'll give you an example here in orissa in a place in a small village uh, near dhankanal there is a place called joranda mm. and there are sadhus living there mm. the mahima sadhus mm. so this month uh, they have a annual joranda mela so uh, i try to promote that in europe because uh, it is something very new for them for europeans to see uh, sadhus you know celebrating and people coming to the ashram so this is what we do we try to first identify the product and then we try to sell it to our customers so if we can sell something new it becomes a hit because we can't just sell uh, the uh, old things that you know is well known 
interesting uh, now uh, i would like to believe uh, that research is also a very big yes, part of yes. uh, tourism because so, you have to uh, as i said we have to be very geographically strong mm. and we have to have a knowledge of almost uh, the entire product every place the offering every, that you have yeah every place like every destination we have to identify what we can offer what is the story what is the story behind it yes how we can uh, like how how do you get to know the story suppose it not every story is available in, in the internet no that so. see that that is exa- again you have to it's a uh, more travel, of a, you have to travel yeah you have to travel you have to see meet the first. local yeah, people you, you understand the, the culture people. yeah you have to uh, understand w- what is happening there and then you, uh, everything the most important thing about tourism is information okay if you don't have correct information you cannot sell tourism so anyone who is venturing into tourism i would say first you have to have knowledge if you don't have knowledge you cannot sell any place as a destination interesting 